podcasters clean your audio in this video i'm going to show you a few plugins that's going to help you clean your audio and get a nice clean clear sound and these plugins aren't overly expensive some of them you can get on sale uh, we're going to use these four that i have right here we're going to listen to this clip that i have right here from a rather popular podcaster I'm not going to mention any names i'm sure nobody can guess who it is now to be able to actually hear this you're going to need a quality pair of studio headphones and they don't have to be overly expensive i'm wearing the sennheiser hd 280 pros they're only a hundred bucks and they will open up your tracks so you can actually hear what's going on especially in the top end so go pick some of those up if you can't hear this so let's go ahead and start these ideas even though they you think of them as something your brain's creating and maybe your brain is creating it yeah but maybe so can you hear that in the background again if you're listening through computer monitors or, you know computer speakers uh laptop speakers or maybe even your studio monitors you probably can't hear this because of your own room tone in your room so we'll just grab this section right here now listen to this you hear that that's what's going on in the background now for those of you who can't hear that maybe you're listening on a phone or something Let's jack this way up so you can actually see and hear that uh, noise that's actually in the signal. So this is the signal, the noise that we're going to be pulling out. All right. That there, all that background noise. So let me go ahead and put that back to zero. And let's go ahead and start cleaning this audio. So one more time. These ideas. You hear that in the background? They, you think of them as... Okay. First plugin we're going to use is from Isotope RX7 Voice Denoise. This is probably my favorite. And one of the reasons is as soon as you pull it up, the default state is pretty much perfect for everything. We have it on adaptive, optimized for dialogue. When you use surgical, you can try gentle if you want. And a lot of times you don't even need to mess with your threshold and your reduction. Now I'm using the real time version of these plugins. A lot of times what I'll actually do though, and we'll show this at the end, is I'll go to audio suite and I'll get the audio suite version and I'll actually render that to the file. So that way I can go ahead and uh, manipulate the file with EQ, compression, all that stuff uh, without having to uh, have, you know, the extra plugin running all the time. All right, so here we go. Let's hear it in bypass one more time. These ideas, even though they, you think of them. Now, just turn it on. These ideas, even though. Clean, they, clear, You perfect. think of them as something your brain's created. Again, for this plugin, I didn't really have to manipulate anything. Now, of course, I could raise my threshold some, raise the reduction up a bit more. We could go all the way up with this. But for some sources, it's going to sound very unnatural if you do that. You think of them as something your brain's creating and maybe your brain is creating it's okay here but again i don't mind some background noise we're not trying to get this to be a hundred percent clean uh it, there's no problem having some space right a feeling of you're in some space uh during your podcast but you know the original in my opinion way too noisy and by the way you could actually track through this live if you happen to be using something like obs you can actually host this in either OBS or in Pro Tools. And I have, you know, different ways of showing uh, how to capture your screen. But uh, once again, we'll just play here and I'll turn it on. It uses your brain to create it so that it can manifest itself in the real world. Okay. So when you have ideas, there we go. whether ideas that turn out to be art or music, like, you know, Jimi Hendrix comes out with Voodoo Child, you're, y you... A hundred percent better. So we can really see that right here. So I'll bypass again. I'll jack this up a little bit. Okay, so that sound there, I'll turn it on. We're really reducing that noise. Now, because I raised the level, of course, I'd have to adjust things in here. But now that sound is basically gone. And that's what all of these cleaners are going to do, is they're going to clean out just that background noise and leave the rest of the audio relatively untouched. Now, I don't want to get too deep into each of these plugins, okay? One thing you could do with uh, RX7 voice uh, voice denoise is I have this section right here, right? We could take this off adaptive and put it on learn. And I'll just play back. And that's going to learn that sort of noise profile for me. And as soon as I hit stop, then we have our profile right there. So now 
go back to the beginning. These ideas, even though it's pretty they, good, you think of them as something your brain's creating. Okay, and then bypass it. These ideas, hear that? Even though they, you think of them as something your brain's creating. Right now, I just like adaptive on this one because you know sometimes that noise profile consistently changes over time. So a lot of times I just use adaptive surgical mode. Again, you can try gentle if you wish, but that's uh, how quick and easy it is to clean your dialogue. Again, you can track through this live if you want. Uh, it's not really adding, shouldn't really be adding any delay here. Uh, it, does, uh, it does pretty well. You can try it, uh, try it live if you want. So let's go ahead and move on to another option. If you don't like that one, we're gonna pull up WNS. Uh, from Waves, and there'll be a code in the description below that will save you 10% on all Waves plugins. This one operates sort of similar to RX-7 voice denoise. These ideas, even though they, you okay. think of them... I'll go ahead and turn it on here. And I'm going to use the suggest function here. These ideas, even though they, you think of them as something your brain's creating. And maybe... You right. Let's come up here to this part right here so we can really hear this. So it's bypass right now. Turn it on. Does pretty well. Of course, you can come in here and adjust the bands however you want. Again, if I bypass it, you hear that coming right through. And now it's almost gone. It does pretty well here. All right, that's another option. Next option, let me actually bypass that one would be W43. This one is a bit less expensive than everything else. It works pretty much the same. No screen though, and uh, manual adjustments here. These ideas, so we'll turn even on. though they, you think of them as something your brain's creating. And maybe your brain is creating it. Yeah. But maybe it uses your brain to create it. It's a little better. Let's come up here to this portion. Play that and find where that noise is. A lot of it up here. Pull some of that down. Not much in the low end. So it does all right. Not as good as the other two, but if I bypass it, then turned on. So it does all right. Pulls a little bit of that out. Again, you could try this plugin live if you wanted to, but uh, I prefer RX-7 or WNS over that. And the last one we're gonna show here is NS1. NS1 is super simple to use. You just have one control here and it works, works really well. So we'll start with it bypassed. These ideas, Hear even that noise. though they, you think of them- Turn it on. As something your brain's creating. And adjust. And maybe your brain is creating it. Yeah. But maybe it Pretty uses good. your brain to create it so that it can manifest itself in the real world. So when you have, so you wouldn't want to go all the way up because, as you can tell, we're losing fidelity of the audio like this. Now to be art or music, like you know Jimi Hendrix, right? But if we let's grab just this area here of the noise, so we can really dial it in, so we can hear the noise now in our headphones. Pull this up. Look at that. We we have basically silence now. Much better. Bypass. Again, you got to be wearing headphones to really hear what's happening pretty much gone. So how's that sound on the, on the uh, audio? You are inspired by... Let me turn it on here. You are inspired by that. Yeah. You see it, it gives you a much, great feeling. You much exchange better. currency to listen to it. I mean, just that one song. How much money has been generated by Voodoo Child? I mean, it's one of the greatest songs in the history of the yeah. known universe. It's the, the opening guitar riff. I've listened to that a thousand times. Easy. I listen to it all the time. Much much better and really simple, quick and easy to use. NS1 is another one that I would highly recommend. So one more time with NS1 bypass, again, really listen for that high pitch. Almost, it's almost like preamp noise that we're really hearing in some of course room tone uh, going on. You think of them as something your brain's creating. All right, turn it back on. You think of them- Much cleaner. As something your brain's creating. And maybe your brain is so much cleaner and it still sounds natural. We're not ruining uh, the audio with uh, this. NS1 works great again to really hear that noise that we're pulling out one more time. Let me bypass that. It's that noise there. 
Now, obviously, because I have this up 30 dB, we're not going to pull all that out. But you can hear, you know, you can see basically what it's doing. All right. So that's it for the, we got four different plugins that we're showing here. They all work pretty well. NS1 and RX7 probably work uh, the best. WNS works pretty well uh, as, as well. Again, you could try tracking through these live if you want. Look in the uh, description below if you want to see how you could, uh, you know, record your DAW live. You could actually host these plugins, uh, not the Waves, uh, but uh, RX7. You should be able to host directly within uh, OBS or Streamlabs uh, as well. You can't host the Waves plugins because OBS doesn't let you load uh, plugins that are uh, in a shell, and Waves uses that uh, that shell. Now, as I mentioned up top, a lot of times what I would use on a, on a dialogue track, like the one you're hearing right now, I actually render this uh, noise reduction to the file a lot of times instead of using it as a live plugin right here. And to do that in Pro Tools, we'll just grab the Audio Suite version of this here. Let me find my Isotope plugins here at the bottom of this list. And we'll grab RX-7 Voice Denoise. And same plugin, it just lets me actually render this to the file. Now, of course, in Pro Tools, we could have this turned on, of course, and right click and then commit. That's essentially uh, the same thing. But we'll do it uh, this way here. Just these ideas. Listen back even to this audio. They, you think of them as something your brain's creating. And maybe your brain is creating it. Yeah. But maybe it uses your brain to create it so that it can manifest much better and we're not losing any fidelity sounds much much better so then i would just select all my audio like that and render that file and then i would have this rendered directly to that file i wouldn't have to use a plugin over here then i'm free to go ahead and use my eq my compression all that stuff on clean clear and crisp audio so again all these plugins are bypassed this is our cleaned audio right here and here's that section we had earlier that was very noisy. Look at that, much more quiet. There you go, so that's how you would use the audio suite version of your plugins here in Pro Tools and other DAWs have different ways, but that's a good, quick and easy way to go ahead and render that to your file. And then you could go ahead and use the other plugins that you want to use, your EQs, your compressors, and things like that. So when it comes to producing your voice sound for your podcast, the first thing you do is denoise. You don't want to denoise later, you want to denoise first and then work with the clean audio and then go for your, you know, your EQ and then go for your compression. You don't want to EQ and compress first, pull all that noise up and then try to pull that noise out. No, no. Pull the noise out first with any of these plugins here. And I'll have links to them in the description below if you want to check them out more. Clean your audio first, then add your other processors on top of that. And again, these things don't even cost that much. You can get, you know, each of these individually for a hundred or less. So there's no reason to have dirty podcast audio. Podcasters, clean your audio.